Instant Track is a built-in basic scheduler for Myriad 5 Playout. It doesn't have the power of a standalone scheduler such as Myriad Auto Track, but it can choose songs and links from assigned categories and ensure that a song by the same artist doesn't come around too often based on a rule you set. It is activated when you click on Fill This Hour in the log. Instant Track works on presets, and you can set as many presets as you want, and you can then assign them to a grid. But let's look at presets first of all. I already have one created called General 80s and 90s, and you can select if it makes a live assist or an auto fade hour. Here you set the weighting or proportion of each song category. Actually, I've set this one wrong, and I need to remove the 2000s category and add in the 80s. So I drag the 2000s down to zero, find the 80s, and pull that up to 50. So it's about a 50-50 split. If it helps, just think of those numbers as percentages. At the bottom, we can also decide on any links to be played between the songs and after how many songs we're to play a link. Let's create a new preset. We're going to title it. We're going to select to start the hour with media item one. And it's going to contain 80% say, from the 70s A category, and 20% from the 70s B. And then we're going to play some Tri Sweepers and Sweepers every two songs. Then click on Save to add it to the preset. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the assignment grid. I'm going to add that new preset to an hour in the assignment grid. This is what Myriad 5 Playout will use to determine what is used when you click on Fill This Hour in the log. Let's amend the hour that we want to use, uh, use for our 70s hour. I'm going to delete the preset from that hour and add in the 70s one by dragging and dropping it down. And I click on OK. And now if I go back and fill this hour, it will be the 70s one from the new preset. If I want to create another preset based on the 70s, I can click on it and amend and then choose Save As to create a new one that's based on some of the previous weightings that we'd set in that 70s preset. To delete a preset, select it and then hit Delete and then choose Yes. If in the assignment grid there is no preset when that hour is chosen to be filled, it's going to ask you if you wish to make a manual preset or use an existing one. So you can make a preset on the fly, or you can use one of the pre-existing ones to fill that hour.